In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a web accessible backup of your files. Now, not only that, you can use Dropbox to access files across multiple computers. When you drop something in the Dropbox, it's available on all the computers on your network or that you own when you have a Dropbox on them. So you can access them from anywhere in the world or from the website. Okay, so the first thing to do is go to dropbox.com and download the Dropbox. Okay, it comes up here. You need to save the file and install. Okay, so we'll run. Okay, so we install. Okay, now at this point, you either have to sign up for a Dropbox account, or if you already have one, you can click here and sign in. Okay, so if you're going to create one, you need to go through here and set up the proper information. It also have your computer name down here. And when you install it on other computers, of course, the computer name is different on each computer. So it'll be able to keep track of multiple computers using your Dropbox account. Okay, so you get a free 2 gigabyte account, or you can get bigger accounts for a certain amount of money. So $9.99 at this time for 50 gig, or $19.99 for 100 gig. Okay, so we'll start with the free 2 gig account. Okay, at this point, you can go through the tour if you want. Okay, and then we can add a shortcut to Dropbox on your desktop, or you can choose where to put your Dropbox folder. I'll just put it on my desktop. Okay, and here is our Dropbox. So now what we can do is we can just drop any files we want into our Dropbox. It works just like a Windows folder. Now you notice there is a Photos folder and a Public folder. If you look in the public folder, what you can do is you can drag any files or whatever you want in here and you can share it with others because it will have a public URL and you can send that URL to others and they can access that file. So it's a good way to share things with others if you like to do that. In the photos, what you can do is you can create a new album. All you do is create a folder, so new folder. And then you put your photos in there and it becomes a photo album. And you can share those as well if you want. Now you can also create new folders. So new folder. And then we could say, call it whatever we want. Let's say it's private. Okay, and then all we have to do is drag a file in here that we want to save. And it is saved in our Dropbox. Now when we install our Dropbox on our other computer, since we'll be using the same account, we'll be able to access these files as well, and we can also access them from the website. Okay, so I dragged in here a file called Cars I've Owned, and we can now access that from our Dropbox. So I could go over to my Dropbox account on the web here. I could then sign in, and then I'll be able to access those files from the web. So no matter where I am, I can get to my files. Okay, so if we go in here, look in files, there's our private directory, and there is the document I put in there. So that's how you can use Dropbox to store your files and access them remotely or from your other computers.